what's going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to take a look at how you can add a map component to your swift ui app so basically what you see here so swift ui does not have a map built in which is kind of a bummer but we have a way where we can still add a map so we'll take a look at that we'll take a look at you know how to lay it out as well as how to make it reusable to pass in different coordinates and stick around till the very end. We'll take a look at also how to add this little map pin annotation thing that we see here that we've all come to know and love in all of our different map applications. So that said, first and foremost, absolutely destroy that like button for the YouTube algorithm. We're gonna also pause and let all of you guys who haven't subscribed yet hit subscribe while you're at it. I think something like 70% of you watch every single video but don't subscribe it honestly baffles me so please do hit subscribe so I can keep putting this uh, these videos out for you all uh, that said I'll stop going on and we will get excited open up Xcode and we're gonna talk about some maps in Swift UI quick pause before the video this video is brought to you by iosacademy.io head on over to check out the newly launched TikTok and Swift UI courses learn to build world-class professional apps in a fraction of the time quickly and efficiently that said let's get back to the video all right we're going to go ahead and get started by opening up xcode and creating a new project here of course we're going to stick with the app template under the ios tab and let's go ahead and give our project a name of swift ui map and we want to make sure our interface and life cycle are both swift ui here and our language is swift Go ahead and continue and we're going to save this guy onto our desktop and the first thing you want to do is of course expand our xcode window hit resume on our pre on the right hand side over here hope that it decides to load quickly there it goes and let me also bump up the font size over here just a smidge so we can all see the code cool the next thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and make our uh, view here a little nicer we're going to create a navigation view as the root view with a vertical stack inside of it. And I'm gonna give this VStack a navigation title modifier. And I'm gonna go ahead and call it Swift UI map, just like that. And uh, now we need to actually create the map that we can use in Swift UI. So I'm sure you know that Swift UI doesn't actually have a map component, hence the, you know, what kind of prompted this video. So we need to create it ourselves. So let's go ahead and create a new file here. We're going to stick with a empty Swift file and I'm just going to call it map view. And what we want to do is we want to use uh, this thing called UI view representable to basically allow us to create a Swift UI view that wraps a map view inside of it. And that's basically just going to be a struct that conforms to UI view representable and the reason autocomplete isn't cooperating is because we have not imported the things we need yet so let's go ahead and do that the first thing is ui kit the second thing is going to be swift ui and finally the most important one is going to be map kit which actually has the map view inside of it that we want to use so once you do that you'll notice an error here which is fully expected go ahead and click it and hit fix and it's going to put this property here for a type alias what type of view are you trying to return? So we are gonna go ahead and say, this is a UI view. And if you hit build again, command V, you're still gonna have uh, a thing for an error here, which is fully expected. So go ahead and select it and hit fix one more time. And it's gonna stub out these two functions that are required for uh, conforming to this protocol. So we are gonna ignore update UI view here. So we'll just get rid of that and say do nothing in here but we're going to try to spell nothing correctly looks like i had it right the first time uh, and in make ui view we want to actually first create a view which is a vanilla ui view and we're going to return it here and in between this we want to actually create our map so how do you create a map well we're going to create it the exact normal way we would create it in a ui kit application so the first thing I'm going to do is we are going to define a coordinate. Later on in the video, we'll talk about how to pass this in dynamically as well as show a pin annotation like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. But this is going to be a CL location coordinate 2D. And this takes a uh, latitude and a longitude. 
Now I am going to totally guess what lat latitude and longitude to give it here and we're all going to cross our fingers that this exists and that it's not in the middle of the ocean. Uh, if it is, we can go ahead and tweak as needed. Um, so cool, we've got a coordinate there. Then we're going to create an actual map, which is a MK map view, just like that. We're going to want to go ahead and uh, add this as a sub view to our view. And now this map also needs to have constraints uh, because the view that wraps it will be changing um, you know, its size and the map should take up the whole container view. So the first that we're gonna say is translates uh, auto resizing mask in constraints is gonna be false. And we wanna go ahead and apply four constraints uh, to this map. So we're gonna say NS layout constraints and we wanna activate a collection of constraints. And what we wanna do is the width, height, center X and center Y for the map. So we're gonna say with anchor, and we want a constraint that's equal to, so we can just use this first one here actually. And we're gonna say the width is equal to the views with anchor, which basically uh, makes the two widths equal. And I'm just gonna copy and paste it a total of four times. The next thing we want is the height anchor. The next thing we want is center X. And the last thing we're gonna want is center Y. And just don't forget to change these over here, otherwise you're gonna run into some funky uh, build errors. So center X and center Y. So that's looking pretty good. So the last thing we're gonna do here before we go and add this to our content view is we have a coordinate up here that we're not using just yet. So on the map, I'm gonna go ahead and say set a region. And this region is going to be a uh, MK uh, map region or a coordinate region rather. So we're gonna say MK region, it's a coordinate region. And we're gonna go ahead and create this with a uh, center and a span. So the center will just be our coordinate and a span is going to be an MK coordinate span and this takes in a delta for the latitude and longitude. I like 0 0.7. This delta basically represents how broad your camera is going to pan on the uh, map itself. So how zoomed in it is basically. So if you go ahead and hit command B you should not have any build errors up here but we can now go to our content view and in here, I'm gonna go ahead and add a map view. And the first thing we're gonna do is give it a frame modifier. And I'm gonna say it says 300 by 300 with a alignment of center. And if you go ahead and hit resume on the right hand side here, we should see our map pop up in just a moment. And uh, boom, there it is just like that. So let me go ahead and put this into dark mode. And I wanna say the coordinates we used are totally random in the middle of the ocean, hence we don't see anything here. So I am gonna go back to the map view and we're gonna see if we can, uh, we can change these to be a little more uh, useful. So we'll say negative 33 and let me say 74 here. I wanna say that's in the middle of maybe not the ocean. So let's go back to our content view and let me go ahead and hit live preview here. All right, so now we're, well, now we're still in the middle of the ocean, but uh, let's see if I can zoom out of this. Whoops, let's zoom out. We should be able to fully interact with this. And let's see. So uh, the easiest thing, if you wanna test out that this is actually showing your map is let's just not set the coordinate region here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and comment this whole thing out. So let's come back here. We're gonna hit Command B one more time. We're gonna pause live preview. We'll hit resume to recompile our preview. And we should just see the whole map now. Let's go ahead and hit the live preview. There we go, there's our map. So our, our coordinate region is clearly just wrong because I'm making up a coordinate, but you know, if you were passing one in, that's how it would work. Now let's talk about how to place a pin on the map. And let's also talk about how to pass in a coordinate. Before we do that, I think the map is a little small. We want it to be a tad bit bigger. I would like this map to fill up the entirety of this vertical stack. So how do we do that? So we're gonna use something called a geometry reader. Uh, if I can find it, there it is, geometry reader. And this takes in a proxy. And uh, from the proxy, if you're familiar with this, we can actually get the width and height of the uh, containers. So we're gonna say proxy, uh, dot size, dot width, and proxy dot size dot height. And you'll see it'll fill up your uh, your space just like that. So it's much larger 
Um, and what we can also say uh, on here if you want is you can ignore the safe area if you want. I kind of like it, so I'll leave it as is. But let's go ahead and make our coordinate um, something we can pass into the map. So right now we're just creating the coordinate here. Um, but what we want to actually go ahead and do is let's make this a global. And this way we'll be forced to actually pass this in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all that. I'm gonna hit Command X to cut it. And we'll say this is a location coordinate 2D. And then now wherever we use this map component, which is our content view, we'll need to go ahead and import core location since that coordinate is a part of it. And we can actually say that this takes in now, if we hit Command B and then open the parentheses again, it should take in the coordinate. Let's see why it's not. Let me come back to the map view here. Let's see what we've got going on. We've got this as a constant. I don't think that should matter. Let's make it a variable and come back to our uh, view here. And here it'll start complaining that it takes in a parameter. We'll hit fix and we'll just need to pass it in. So let's go ahead and try a different, um, a different coordinate here. So uh, I'm gonna quickly pause the video and try to find a coordinate that actually works. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed the coordinates for New York City since we're over here on the east coast of the US to begin with. So let me just paste that in right here. So uh, it is 40 degrees north. So I'm just gonna grab that number. And that is gonna be, I believe, the latitude. And this is 74 degrees west, which is negative. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it a negative and paste it in right there. And I think our indentation looks a little weird. Let me just make this broader and make sure it looks correct. And then we can delete all of that. And we can also delete all of those white spaces. Let's go ahead and hit resume on the right hand side here. And just give it a couple seconds to uh, do its thing. But it looks like it zoomed in there. If I hit live preview, uh, you'll see once again that we are now uh, looking right over uh, New York City. So. That's cool, we can now pass in our coordinate dynamically. But the last thing we wanna take a look at is how do we add a pin? Um, because we presumably wanna show a particular location. So it's pretty simple. We're gonna come back to this map view and in the make UI view, once we've created uh, this map and we have set a region, let me just line break all of this so it's a little cleaner because this drives me nuts, frankly. What we're gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna create what's called a uh, uh, point annotation. So I'm gonna say let pin is a MK point annotation. And basically we can say it's coordinates is coordinate. And then on our map, we're just gonna say add annotation and just pass in the pin. And this will go ahead and add that little pin view that uh, we've all come to know and love on different map applications. And uh, we don't see it here just yet because we need to pause our live preview, hit Command B to build, hit resume over here uh, for your preview, and hit the live preview one more time. And there is our pin right in the center there. And what's cool about this is, as you uh, kind of would expect, you can pan around on the map, you can even zoom in, which is pretty sweet in my opinion. Uh, and that's it. This looks really nice in both dark mode and light mode. It's a pretty standard map component. Anything that you would want to do in, uh, you know, UI kit, full game in Swift UI, and uh, you've made this component fully reusable. You know, if you wanted to add another parameter here to show the pin or not show the pin, uh, you can do that. You would just add that as a parameter to your custom view here, just like we did for the coordinates. So that's all I've got for you guys. If you haven't destroyed the like button already, make sure to do so for the YouTube algorithm. Helps the channel go and keep on growing. Leave a comment down below. Are you guys working with SwiftUI? What do you think? Do you want to see more SwiftUI content? And of course, hit subscribe while you're at it if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.